everybody. Welcome to FTQ Faces Question. I am Rekha. I am talking about a young cinematographer and why he is so famous nowadays. He is a cinematographer of the super blockbuster Padam Pathan West uh, Ethiopia. He is in Malayali but born and brought up in Bangalore. And he is in a pair. The how I noticed his name is very interesting but I will tell you when I started speaking to him. And uh, I know Malayala is a little bit of a little bit. So I think maybe we will talk in English and Malayalam. So stay tuned. Coming on. So, hi, Sajid. Welcome to Face This Question with me, Rekha. Thank you so much for joining me. Nice to meet you virtually. Thank you so much for having me, Rekha. Thank you. So, how does it feel to top of the world with Patan Super, super Blockbuster? Uh, so, initially, uh, actually on the first day of the release, on the first two days, then slowly it started sinking in. Like so many messages I got from my friends from school, my teachers. and uh, my colleagues uh, in advertising and that and then the reaction of the people in waiting in line outside the theaters and all that was quite overwhelming so actually you started i mean nid national institute of design ahmedabad and then fti pune and then i think 2017 yeah. like first movie was a short film called school bag right from a school yeah. bag to pathan where it's like you know uh, tanks and guns and aeroplanes and so how did you land in this yashraj spy wars after graduating from fti from pune i found i started doing advertising work a lot of advertising uh-huh. work and there i enjoyed the collaborations i had you know and my my craft kind of grew with the with the films i was doing in advertising and i realized i started enjoying bikes and cars you know bike commercials and car commercials a lot you know and the energy and the adrenaline of that it also i used to play music so something about this uh energy with camera movement and things like that no i was drawn towards that yeah. action was seemed to be like the most exciting genre and then all of the films that came my way this one seemed to have the ingredients that uh yeah. i could engage with so and you knew so, that it was a sharukh khan uh, movie more i mean the actors were there for sure but once they took me through the script and told yeah. me like okay there's a car chase there's going to be a bike yes. chase here there'll be this and that all those things kind of uh excited fit the bill for me Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. I know. Yeah. I'm seeing your Insta. So I tell you how I note uh, your name caught my attention. So I have this habit of looking at all the when credit rolls. I always look at the names, you know, just to find out these names mm-hmm. keep registering in our phone. Mm-hmm. Where Patan song, the famous song was running. He said, "I don't have a TV in Kannada, so let me see the names." And then mm-hmm. cinematography, such a power. I said, "This could be a Malu because Paolo's name is so yeah. much associated with yeah, Malayali." Yeah. So I said, "That's why I started looking up." And thank you so much for responding. It was wonderful, and I thought your, uh, you know, when you approached this, when he told you about these one-liners and different locations, you know, at the, you know, it's like I'm watching a Mission mm-hmm. Impossible. You're going to Spain, you're going to Russia, you're going to, you know, mm-hmm. so many places. So, what was your biggest advantage in this film, and what was your challenges? Challenges, huh? Challenges. I could hear like a big learning, like a, a good challenge for me was to shoot really fast. and uh-huh. maintain a uh, maintain like the look you know because when an actor when one once you're ready once you've done with lighting you now you give the floor to the actor and the director once they are there then you are there to make the day happen so you have to that's also a responsibility you know you have these big sets and you have to shoot and finish what is allotted per day so we were pretty fast and i enjoyed that so that loves to shoot fast i also love really? to shoot fast so we kept pushing each other yeah yeah, yeah. We kept pushing each other that was great I think your ad film experience of shooting fast and finishing the story in three days would have helped you also, right? Yes, and another I think uh, aesthetic which they which Siddharth enjoyed was handheld camera work, which also I enjoy, which yeah. which is which I consider like a dance with the actor and the camera. You know, it's literally that. And with S R K, he loves the best thing about him is he enjoys being on set. Everything that happens around set, he loves it. He loves doing it, and even for the camera, if there's little bit, if he has to clean for to catch a light, he would do that. And it would make nice. my life easier. If I was trying to lean, if I was trying to go somewhere and find that, he'll know that if he leans a little bit more, he'll he, he'll make the shot perfect. You know. Yeah. So I think that style of shooting was something that we embraced, and for mm-hmm. the action, it suits it best because right. you have to react to what's going on and find the sweet spot to put the viewer in. Like you know, this is the best place to see this. So that yeah. was fun. That was yeah. a challenge, and to do it consistently, yeah, uh, was 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 a challenge, but was something that was you know uh, I was happy to take on. Okay, tell me the first day of meeting Shah Rukh Khan and your first frame with him. What was the frame? Which was the scene that you shot first with S R K and first meeting? I mean, 
so we shot uh, i think first at the safe house this is in the second half of the film once uh, he's captured uh, uh, and when uh, nandini played by dimple comes and meets him at the safe house is after the train sequence that was what we shot first day of the film he didn't recognize me because we had done a couple of ads before i'm not sure if he knew me by name but uh, we said a hi hello and this was the first time i was seeing him on his look and after the shoot finished i told him like sir you got a great vibe because it was the first day of the film for you know with his long hair and i know and uh, you know the look that he has in pathan i mean it was cool i mean i told the director and all of us were like yeah it's a great vibe so that was like the first interaction and slowly our relationship kind of grew over yeah. the time we spent yeah, yeah. so well, that's interesting because you know we were waiting for this film and you know i know that the whole world is celebrating along with you and everybody's success tell me uh, this movie usually a superstar's movie usually the entry i'm looking at south films as well the entry has got this kavaraya mm-hmm. thadak song and when i was interviewing shrikar prasad he was saying that to, how long to you know hold it the cinematographer's work i need to hold it so that this en- entire adrenaline in the theater comes out right here yeah. charuk was an extreme close up from the back yeah. it was an extreme close up so how was how was yeah. that first shot for in the introduction shot you know whether because it was all yeah. jo- blood and his close up to his mouth and kind of so how was that so siddharth loves these introduction shots like when all his films this intro of the character is like a big deal so and also the idea was to not reveal him in the dialogue you know is covered with his hair and all that so we played along to that and the first time we see him he kind of again he leaned in to catch this light you know yeah where he kind of lifts up and looks at and there only you know we felt it while shooting that there was something special going on here and also this aura about him now building up his character slowly slowly there's somebody there who is it we yeah. could be him and his voice you see it through his hair you see a little bit of his eye you catch a glimpse yes. catch a glimpse of his teeth little bit of blood here and there you know so that all built up to him coming up and you know that that was the moment built out of that you know the small things adding up to uh, build up this moment and uh, talking about your heroes and her hero uh, you know deepika but the how was it how was it difficult to shoot because i know that john is also fronted his body sharuk as well and so mm-hmm. how how do you differentiate filming a male body and a female body uh i th- I think see all three were like fantastic so those my work was very simple because they were anyway looking so good they didn't have to do much you know and the locations were great so uh, it was kind of effortless so um, i was lucky like that that you know um, i wouldn't say there was a different approach i think based on the s- script and based on where we were at at the bad point in the story what suited the characters best the first time mm-hmm. we see them like for example when you see john for the first time walking and sharuk's pov then we turn the camera upside down because it's also he's physically upside down plus it's like maybe you know like he's seeing him for the first time maybe he's realizing that this is the guy who was behind all this so it so it was circumstantial based on the yeah. script and how yeah. we reveal them so yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the first twist then the twist keep coming in you know yes and yeah you have to show uh, you know you shot multiple countries right so mm-hmm. every i'm sure you will have to work with multiple crew members and so yes. how is it a synergy between different people with different cultural mindset number one and you ah. need to shoot in siddhar space of speed uh, so how is that um so each place had something to offer and for example say the the stunt guys uh, say in siberia they mm-hmm. had we took the best of what they had to offer and many times that actually the battle was the elements like you know it was so cold in some places like even for the song it was actually very really cold really so, with the beshram rang yeah 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 so it was tough for actors and <laughs> yeah so so it was a combination of all of these things in each location so and most of the time the, the local crews were very supportive and uh, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yasha as it also planned it so well like adi mm-hmm. aditya so he's like a rock solid pillar of support so yeah. this it's all laid out for it's all like a breeze yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. what the, the budget matters when when you have to work, work such a film the, the the entire technical crew their infrastructure the budget everything matters so for you is it easy that you ask anything that was coming that was coming your way no it's not uh, it's not really what is given it's about the planning like for example in one location we in cleverly just look in different you know turn around make that look another scene make another scene out of it you know 
okay. or within that given amount of time what is the right. what is the best way to maximize the day yeah. in the morning when the best light is in the morning what are you going to shoot yeah. there you shoot the white yeah. stuff you shoot like some bit then again you plan for the evening in the same location yeah. maybe you turn around it looks completely different okay. so it was about that it was about yeah. uh, kind of being smart and picking out the best that each yeah. location has to yeah. offer yeah and there was and within the constraints also see many times like crews in mumbai work super fast so sometimes yeah. you have to be smart about what you want to shoot and just to make the day happen that was very important yeah. so i would say like we we were sufficient with what we needed to shoot and it was it was the pace that i mean not the pace but it was our collective energy on set while shooting that made uh, what uh, made everything possible I remember a particular scene where Shahrukh and Deepika is on the balcony and they were planning the next planning, mm. the next attack or something. And your camera just pulls back entirely to the. You remember and showing the entire scene of either side yeah. of this war. That was one good shot I liked. And so, how was that okay. particular? Yeah. So that was of the drone, and also Siddharth has selected these locations, and he knows. like what he wants out of each location that's another yeah. thing he's very clear about what he wants you know that also helps yeah. uh, make the day help helps shoot yeah. uh, and make the day and plan things out you know so that shot we knew from before and we need to reveal the space of where they are in before yeah. exiting the scene yeah. that's an interesting so that was the drone scene, from where they were at the balcony we kind of yeah turned around pulled out and just kind of showed the atmosphere i mean showed yeah. where they were for us for an audience like me it was give me another depth okay fine there something else is going to happen and we are just retrieving back you know talking about mm. drone and technology wise so as a cinematographer how much you give it for your effects vfx and of course is you know that's become more and more now is uh, anything is possible because uh, you know it we are your tech, evolution and digitization and kind of so in patan how was it so we all believe that to get maximum in camera now there's no way to you know like to beat that so that was the effort that was the ultimate objective to get as much as possible in camera and which we did as you know throughout wherever we went that's that's what that's how we approached it and uh, yeah yeah you as a cinematographer is actually no uh, you know uh, from the ads this is the first jump to a biggest blockbuster right so have you ever thought mm-hmm. that your your life will change or not overnight matlab but then from a movie you never the the entire uh, the scale and the depth of the the your work will change accordingly um not really i think it's the same i think for me the goal is to learn and always like improve the craft you know so and also in in long format you have a little more freedom in terms of storytelling where you yeah. know there are not mandates from a certain client so it's a mm-hmm. little more um yeah. how do i say there's a narrative very strong narrative to which <laughs> you are free to do so many things and as a cinematographer you have so many so many things to control you can control the graph of the colors for example of the kind of lensing that over a period of time over uh, two hours that unfolds no yeah. so that's a different kind of planning and a different kind of approach and it's it's a great learning yeah so that was the greatest learning of the entire movie uh, process of patan i would say uh, there were many multiples many things um mm-hmm. i would i can't it's difficult to pinpoint one thing you know at every, okay. every at every stage there was always something to learn which was great yeah like talk about the surprise element two cans on in one frame you know yeah. And then, yeah so how was that you know because i never knew but then somebody had actually done a spoiler alert and so not so i went inside and i knew that salman khan will be in the movie how was that and yeah. because after karan arjun they have not come together maybe in, in zero they yeah, yeah 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 so yeah yeah that was also a lot of fun we were shooting only it was so much fun you know and also like how we slowly see the scarf coming so yeah. that plan that uh, the scarf also, and the applause yeah, exactly oh. yeah 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 so whose so idea was it scarf so the scarf is his character from tiger so that's his tiger, uh, huh? that's his uh, trademark thing but now again just building up the thing na like how we built up each each character's introduction yeah, yeah. also you hear the sound before which for you see him okay. you know and then you know there's something on top and then the scarf and then people just know and before seeing him itself you know the fun is on yeah. <laughs> so how yeah. was shooting with him is this first time you're shooting with salman uh, sir as well this was again i've done a few advertisements Adjusen. with him before yeah i've done ads yeah. with him so he's uh, he's a character himself like i mean he's he's got his um, 
like Aura. he's got his presence yeah yeah he's got a certain kind of presence srk has a certain kind of presence and together it was fun i mean while shooting we knew that this is going to be a lot of fun you know they both picked up the guns he was improvising doing his own thing there and there it was, it was a lot of fun nice and about uh, deepika's character so you know how much and the, the look was absolutely good and she of course she's an athlete kind of a body she has and she's a great actress yeah. and a dimple i love her you know still i remember her old ad the crowning glory ad which used to come in with for hair you know so those are the things which play mm-hmm. because i'm an 80s child not like you that's why so <laughs> it was a mm-hmm. interesting so how was it working with these people and of course the ashutosh rana and all these people right other stars yeah i think it was i was extremely fortunate because it was a treat everyone's energy was so great on set you know everyone was like um, all positive vibes so therefore like the, the crew has a positive energy then the people then generally you walk in like for example as if he walks into set he says hi it's just there's an aura around him there's like radiating positive vibes and then so then there's it's just fun so the moment it's fun then you know you don't feel like it's work and you just yeah, you're just shooting and making the film yeah, and i think that's how it's always shoot. yeah so you're from kerala but i know that you have not been to kerala much you're from muattupura right yes yes yeah Yeah. So, April last, when did you visit Kerala? Ah, uh, I think I'd gone to shoot an ad only. Uh, okay. I think um, actually the last few times I've gone to shoot ads only there. So yeah. I love the food, and I'm hoping to connect with uh, Kerala a little more. Like I've yeah. watched a lot of uh, classic films, like uh, from you know from Adur's film, Adur Gopal Krishna's films, and John Abraham, D. R. Vindan. Yeah, the yeah. content is good right now, you know, because uh, the, the with the kind of creative space that used during the Corona time, this fabulous movies coming out in OTT, and that's when Malayalam movies became super famous mm-hmm. across India because this audience became, you know, so uh, how do you South Indian yeah. films, you know? So the Telugu and Tamil films. Have you? What is your take on such this action thrillers? Because you are an action person. That's what I asked. So uh, to be very honest, I have not really engaged with um, yeah. Indian commercial films so much. You know, uh, even even with Bollywood films, I have not watched too many myself. I don't know. The whole world is very alien to me. Like you know, I I know the advertising world much better. That's right. I think Perhaps that worked better though because you don't have that, any baggage exactly. of any frames. Yeah. anything back you know so that that is why maybe you perfectly gelled well into I this i think so i mean i i i think so because uh, when i met that the first time i told him i told him the same thing i don't know anything about, i you know this is all new to me <laughs> and uh, you've seen what i've shot so i yeah. i mean i'm going to like come up with suggestions and things like that and that was great it was very collaborative every time i would nice. come and say okay can we try this different color yeah, yeah. can we go dark on this this costume can we do this you know production designer rajat podar many time i say can we try to put this light here it'll help me also plus it look good so they were very well coming up all yeah. ideas i had just great and when he had something particular and mine and siddhar always knew what he wanted he was very yeah. clear about you know what kind of shots he wanted and especially even shot taking he would design shots he would know what he wanted and and the vibe and he started enjoying this handle camera work like i told you so yeah. uh it was a smooth thing i mean it was very uh although this was entirely new world to me when it came down to actually shooting it felt really comfortable and it comfortable. felt uh, felt right and it's your you know you like all these cars and jets and you know yeah. tanks and so that way it helped you more yeah. i have to talk to you about the total the i think indian cinema would have not seen such a bike sequence on the mm-hmm. frozen lake you know mm-hmm. how difficult was that to take you know shoot and what was your oh it was it was tricky um so basically you have one particular point in the year only this thing stays hard and then later it melts yeah and there's a yeah. you know so so we had we shot with two russian arms on that lake and uh, it was tricky and uh, but we did it it was cold and tough but it was fun okay. yeah okay so uh, now you have a taste of commercial success what next i am uh, collaborating with siddharth on his next film uh, okay fighter so looking forward to that Yeah. Nice. Please ask him to do a uh, one more chase in the Kerala's backwaters. Okay. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So please, uh, you know, thank you so much for your time. It's interesting to understand somebody because I told you right, your name caught my attention. And please, uh, oh, next so time much. when I interview you, you have to talk to me in Malayalam. For you, for Malayalam. Sure. Yes. Yes. Ende ke liye baat kar rahi ho. Kuch aaya, but I need. I will. I will for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for time. I know you have a meeting lined up, and so I just uh, 
congratulations for the super success of Patan, and I'm so happy that I met you. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.